Now back to our weather. And while we are dealing with the cold now, we could see a record warm up this week. Lonnie Quinn joins us tonight with our first alert forecast. Lonnie, as long as there's not rain involved, at least I, for one, am happy. You know, it's crazy you should say that because all we've had are weekends with rain. <laughs> right. Here we are today. It was windy out there, but the sun was out. It was dry today. We're looking okay for next weekend, but sit tight on all that. First, I want to get you outside and show you the picture and talk about the current temperature reading. Because you can see there are a couple little clouds out there as of right now. The temperature as we speak comes in at 49 degrees. Now, the bigger story today has been the wind, and it's still gusty and cool out there. And that's all part of what you should be expecting as we look ahead, because you are going to wake up to some real cold temperatures in the morning. It's even colder waking up on Tuesday morning. The real warmth gets here on Wednesday, even warmer on Thursday. In fact, we could be breaking records in terms of warmth by Thursday afternoon. I'll show you everything, but we start with the cold air. So you're waking up tomorrow morning, it's 45 degrees. Now there's still some wind blowing, so you trim off anywhere from say two to five degrees for wind chill. Colder still on Tuesday morning where it's 43 degrees in the city. A thermometer reading of 34 for Monticello, 36 for Sussex, 35 middle time. It's cold, all right? It's a chilly morning on Tuesday morning. And then it's all about the warm up. Okay, Wednesday's warmer. Thursday, I talk about maybe records out there. Central Park, you could possibly break the record. The record is 78. We're forecasting 75, but it's likely a record for LaGuardia. The record is 76. Heck, we're forecasting 77, and a lot of folks are likely to tie a record. Newark ties the record at 79. Islip ties the record at 75. Bridgeport, Connecticut ties the record at 74. But Jessica, on Thursday, Newark, New Jersey has a chance to hit 80 degrees. I mean, that is some, uh, that's some warm air out there. And this is the perfect quintessential weather to make the leaves pop. You want those cold mornings, you want the sunny, mild afternoons, and you also want a healthy water table, which we have. Right now, our peak foliage, a place like Pike County, Sullivan County, Ulster County, you're gonna find that expanding. So this upcoming weekend and the weekend after, I think are gonna be some prime viewing. Probably not yet in New York City, but it's gonna really be expanding over the next week or two. You guys should see Steve Overmeyer over there grinning ear to ear. Ready? Looking good, Steve. All right, what about the wet weather chances? All right, there's really nothing out there right now. Look at that, we had a little sleep pellet to the west of Sullivan County. So it's just showing you that yeah, there's some cold air out there, but the precipitation exiting, so we're not worrying about, about that. In fact, look at this, the rain chances this week, zero. And I'll let you know this as of right now, Saturday and Sunday look to be dry. This weekend was not dry. You know that. You picked up some rain on Saturday, an inch and a half in Central Park. So that's seven wet weekends in a row. This chance, uh, this weekend, we have a chance to break that trend. Temperatures are going up each and every day from Monday to Thursday. Thursday, you max out at 75. Then we come down to 73 on Friday. You're 70 Saturday, 68 on Sunday. But right now, Jessica, and it is subject to change because the weekend's quite a ways away. I don't have a raindrop on that seven day forecast. Well, let's just it's hope sunny it stays to partly sunny. Enjoy it. All right, thank you, okay. Lonnie.